What's good, everyone? It's your girl, Jay. And today I'm back like I never left with a save file overview. We're going to review the Port Sim save file. The Port Sim save file adds a very gritty tone to the game. I'm talking drugs, violence, crime, romance, drama, all my favorite things in one save. Y'all know I like my Sims to struggle. I have dealers, I have addicts, I have mentally ill Sims. And this save file takes those themes and creates an entire story. So if you like kind of sketchy gameplay, then this is the save for you. The creator Floral Sims did her shit. All her info will be linked in the description box below if you guys want to check out her videos, her overviews, learn more about the save, and also the download page, the description, read it, <laughs> and all that good stuff. This save gets very dark, okay? Let's just put that out there as a warning. And there are going to be spoilers. So I'll do my best to put spoiler alerts up there for you but if you want to discover the mysteries and surprises by yourself then feel free to skip ahead this save file also includes a mystery that you can solve and it also has like hidden secrets and things that you can discover that are pretty crazy like this save file gets dark before we start the overview, make sure you show some love downstairs by liking the video for me. Feel free to drop in the comment section any Easter eggs that you may know about Port Sims. Anything that I might have missed, perhaps. Also, subscribe if you already haven't because we have a lot of fun on this channel if you can't already tell. All right, y'all, let's get into the overview of the Port Sims save file by Floral Sims. Before we start the video, I just wanted to read to you this disclaimer that was posted by the creator just three days ago. Just something to note for anyone who wants to play with Port Sims after seeing this overview. I'll put it up on the screen for you guys to read in its entirety, but to summarize it, she is just putting it out there that she is unable to update anything at this time because of issues with for rent and game glitches. So hopefully she gets everything squared away soon. But for now, I've been having a blast in here and I haven't really had any issues issues. But again, I don't have for rent. So I'll definitely have this page linked on my information post in my description box. So this is the actual page. Press keep reading. You see the disclaimer. I haven't updated these for a while. Basically, it's a shorter version of what we just read. And then here is port sim and here is dead end. So just keep in mind, this is the post that we're going to need to download port sim from. So I'm going to get that copied and put it on that information post for you guys. So this has been out for a hot minute now. I've played with it a little bit. So there are going to be some spoilers. So this is the download page for the most recent version of this save file. But before you download, I encourage you to read read, read the descriptions so that way you know what packs are required. Also, what mods are required shall you choose to use the CC version. I'm going to link Floral Sims Patreon just in case she updates the save file in the future. You guys can search through and find the most recent version. So as you can see, the creator changed the name of the world to Port Sim. There's Port Sim 1, Port Sim 2, and Port Sim 3. And I think the idea behind it was supposed to be that they're all the same city, just different neighborhoods. Oasis Springs is also done as well, and Delso Valley, but those are technically not a part of Port Sims. We also have Millhaven all the way down here. Millhaven is another save file that she has called Dead End, and it's a zombie save file. So if you were to play her other save file, then you'll see this in the apocalyptic version. So let's go ahead and we'll start in Port Sim 1. The thing that I love most about this save file is that a lot of the lots are multifunctional and multifamily. If you're an OG on my channel, you know I love a good multifunctional lot. So the creator really utilizes the space because a lot of these lots serve more than one purpose. For instance, this lot has a theater, a vet office, and a library. This one is an herbs outfitters instead of urban, wow, well, that's cute, and a sushi restaurant. So it's a clothing store and a restaurant. So you catch my drift. 
Look, back here they have a Pine Shore assisted living facility, so a nursing home. Right here in the middle we have the Olive Branch Cemetery, which I also love that this creator put in there because I like to play with cemeteries. Like, I like somewhere for my Sims to go when they pass on, somewhere for them to go visit. I miss Sims 3 Cemetery so much. And I feel like I really resonate a lot with this save file and this creator because the things she includes in here are just right up my alley. Like, this is a perfect save file for me. Y'all know I love darkness, crime, sketchy shit. <laughs> okay, anyways, moving on. Speaking of sketchy shit, the first place we're gonna visit is straight up the craziest thing I've ever seen in The Sims because it caught me by surprise isn't even the word. In my last video, I was testing out a burglar mod before the feature came to the game and I decided to break into this guy's house. And I really wish I would have remembered that you can read the descriptions about them first before I decided to let my Sim break in there because what I found was truly freaking shocking. You guys, we broke into the wrong mother effers. <laughs> Something about Charles is off. His pregnant wife disappeared in the 80s and no one can seem to find her. Now he lives in that big old house all alone. Oh my gosh. So let me show you this freaking build. Again, shocking, scary. Never been done before. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's go. Before we enter into the voice household, I want to let you know there's going to be lots of spoilers. So skip ahead to the next build if you don't want to see what lies beneath. <laughs> but no, for real. Okay, so here we have the boy's household. You see, ordinary looking plain ass house, right? But when I tell you that this has to be the craziest build I've ever encountered, just genuinely. It happened on camera during my burglar mod video and the way that it just kept unfolding. I want to scream. This is like a bad movie. OMG, all right, I'm getting out of here. I got the heebie-jeebies for real. So I broke into the house of what I thought was a nice old man. I'm like, oh, he looks like an easy target. And so I break in and as you can see, nothing too crazy, right? We have a living room, kitchen, a little library over here, dining room. The bedroom over here, I did discover, look, he has a jawbone on the dresser, just being weird. So that should have been my first red flag. Then I go upstairs and at first it looks all normal. And then I find like a creepy baby room, cobwebs and stuff. So I can't even imagine the story there. And I look across and it's a freaking seance room. The OMG, look, a closet. <gasps> What, like baby stuff in there behind a hidden door? Oh my God, you see, I'm still finding stuff. Jeez Louise. Then I'm like, where's the guy? I don't even know where's the guy. And then I find him in the basement. Where might you ask? Oh, in his torture room, just casually chilling. There's a whole shrine back here. I'm gonna let y'all check it out if you guys want. Um, Yeah, or you guys could watch my video. That's actually today's sponsor, myself. <laughs> check out my video. <laughs> so that is the craziest build probably I've ever seen. And I didn't even notice until I came back in here to redo the torture chamber, of course, because I'm twisted in my head and I got torture Ooh. chamber CC. I noticed back here, I'm like, wait, wait, what is that? No way. In the backyard of this creepy little man's house is a grave and that's only one grave we can see oh my god because when you go down there there's there's multiple bodies who knows how many who knows how many that's crazy right omg wildest build ever but moving along <laughs> across the river is the next place i want to show you and it's just this neighborhood in general this this neighborhood got a lot going on this is the type of place that like you don't want to get caught here outside alone late at night you know <laughs> is it's ghetto okay i went to new york once in 1981 and i just did not feel safe we have the apartments starter home there's a condemned house here a gang has taken over this house the notorious street gang they're responsible for most of the crime in port sim loco is the leader but tiara is the one really running shit okay all right might fuck around and become tiara county street is their territory and they use the blue store as a money laundering front they don't really live at that burnt down house they live in an undisclosed house near county street so where the hell do they live then i guess that's a mystery to find out too right <laughs> I'm gonna show you the Helms household so you can see a little bit about what we're working with when I say that this save is filled with sketchy characters. 
After serving six years in prison for possession with intent to distribute, violating probation, and resisting arrest, Andre is home in his new safe house. His girl Nicole held things down for him while he was gone, and he's ready to be back in the game. But now he's responsible for his teenage brother Tommy, who's already on the path to ending up just like him. She has a whole LP with this household, if you guys want to check that out. We pull up and there's old appliances outside, trash. Look at the house numbers. They're not CC, they are just paintings from the gallery, which is cool. It is a household that she has an LP based off of, so I'm not gonna go too in detail. I just want you to see a quick overview. Look, they got a note probably from the landlord. <laughs> Like, where's my money? You see how grubby it is in here? Holes in the wall, spills in the floor. The furniture is all old. And it looks like a trap house. Well, my favorite part of the house is the garage back here. Spoiler alert. <laughs> when you go into the garage, it's a grow house. I think we have to turn on the lights because we have SMB. Okay, that's better. <laughs> it looks like a man cave slash grow house, most importantly. Look, his cat wants some weed. Tito. The backyard is also full of trash, dirty leaves. Like I said, just grungy and I love it. I think the creator also said that this save was based off her hometown, which I find hilarious. I'm also from the ghetto, so no biggie. Okay, so across the street, we have that condemned house, which I totally want to move into. And then this is a burnt down house. Let me get down to ground level so you guys can peep this. Clearly it caught on fire. I think that's so creative. I would have never thought to do something like that. It says it's home to a gang. So I don't know, maybe in that garage, there's some secrets or something. I'm not sure. I've never been in there before, but look at all the trash in the street, y'all. An abandoned RV. Oh, look, kids playing basketball outside. That's cool. But yeah, so you're getting the vibe of this neighborhood, right? It's kind of on the poor, sketchy side of town. We got to grow up in this house. Who knows what's going on in this apartment building? We got a gang across the street and a trap house in the making. That house is just looking for someone to come squat in it. And it could be us. Okay, the next place I want to show you is not even Import Sim, it's Delso Valley. She has a video of this map as well, where she goes more in depth, more in detail about it. So we have a Starlight Towers residential. Imagine how it'll be when she updates it for the four rent pack. A pump and dump gas station. I love that there's a gas station in this world. A lounge over here. We have Tent City. Sterling is a jazz musician and veteran. Philip is a grumpy hippie. Rita is a former model. And Sean and Macy are a couple that have been living on the streets of Delso Valley for two years. They love each other deeply, but enable each other's addictions. Sean has always had his companion, Jean Genie, by his side. I think Jean Genie's <laughs> the dog. That's some real raw ass shit. See what I'm saying, y'all? This safe file, bro. So this is Tent City, a place for the houseless to go. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever been to major cities in the US, but I've seen tent communities. So as messed up as it might sound, I feel like it gives more realism to the game. Look at all of this. I wanted to use this in an LP so bad. This is perfect for rags to riches. Yeah, so in the heart of Del Sol, in this big city is this tent city community where your sims could go we have more apartments which i think we can check out an apartment building next all right let's read their description eddie and camilla are artists eddie prefers an easel and camilla specializes in murals and graffiti their daughter leah hopes to be a famous rock star one day after eddie lost his brother leo to what he assumes was gang violence he created Third Chances, a support group for ex-criminals. He's hoping his other brother Dante will join, but their relationship has been rocky. Hope and Nash are a married trans couple. Hope runs a plopsy shop and Nash is a chef. They have an infant son, Jonah. So this is the apartment building. I like the look of it. It looks realistic, like you would actually see this in a neighborhood. 
speaking of the neighborhood, we'll take a peek around. She said GTA inspired her a lot. And you could see like with the grates on the windows, these just look like Cali houses, right? I don't even have the for rent pack myself. I'm not putting myself through that, but we see that there is one, two apartments on each floor. I'm sure she'll divide it up and it'll be super fun to play in. I just wanted to see what an apartment building looked like. There's some more from the neighborhood. You guys can say, oh shit, look at that trap. The trap. <laughs> you know how in the description it said that the guy's brother or something passed away? I know somewhere in this neighborhood is like a little mural for him. Be though it's sad. Okay, now we can move on to the next map. We're gonna go skip ahead to Port Sim 3 this time, just so that we can um take a peek at what we have. An Indian food and hookah lounge place. Yo, that's cool as hell. <laughs> so good. So I'm guessing a soul food spot. That's cool. Simside Plaza. And it looks like there's four different stores there. That's cool. Oh my God. And a sports bar. Wow. Griff's Lounge, Party Place, Juice Bar. I cannot wait to play in this. Um. Okay, let's try. Let's go to this multi-lot one. See what is all in there. Okay, so it really does look like a little plaza. Not a fancy one either to be up in Magnolia Promenade. So I'm guessing it's not the best neighborhood either. Yeah, all the buildings look pretty plain, pretty regular. That's the soul food spot. And then this over here is the hookah lounge. What is that? Is that another rundown house? <laughs> Maybe we got to go there. Damn, we should have went in with the sim. Let's see, we got an Asian food spot, it looks like. Oh my God. A nail salon in this one. Oh, I love this. A bar. A little foosball table back there. Ew, a grungy, dirty bathroom and a backdoor exit. That sounds pretty accurate for that bar. And over here, it's what, a pizza place? Hey, this is amazing. I'm in love. Oh my God, so cool. I love the multi-lot thing. We should make use of the space. And I don't like to have to go through loading screen to loading screen to just do different things. And you're gonna see that all over the save file. I wanna see what this hookah lounge is about. That should look like an abandoned building to me. I guess you do find hookah lounges in like the most random places though, right? <laughs> like why is there a whole hookah lounge in the back of a diner? You're just looking for the bathroom and you walk into a lounge. All right, let's see what this is about. Indian food and hookah lounge, right? This looks like an office. Okay, over here is the Indian food spot. Oh, downstairs is a lounge. That's cool. Okay, okay. And what is this office for? It doesn't say outside, does it? Oh, look at this mural outside of the Indian spot. That's cool, wow. I wonder what is this office space for? If she says or specifies, if you could just use it for whatever. I love it. It's cute as hell. Do your taxes there. <laughs> and I don't know, I'm guessing this is just a fixer upper spot. You can live in um, Magnolia if you wanted. I'm gonna be own that business and live back here. Yeah, look, it's rough in here. Shit. Wow. See upstairs more debris everywhere. Yo, this house been ran through. But a good fixer upper though. But you'd have to buy the whole lot unless you just rented. Get rented. You just come live here. Oh, look, there's bars on the windows here, too. Wow. All right, New Crest is popping. Look at all this. There's so many lots, I wouldn't even know where to start. Looks like there's some row homes over here. This is another multifunctional lot. They have a lot of stuff on this lot. But look, at least three separate buildings. Is that a church? It looks like a church. <laughs> and a cemetery. Wow, that looks cool. Ice cream parlor, gym, an art center. Main Street shops, so more multifunctional lots. And here's some residential for you. Trinity Church. Okay, so I don't know if there's two different churches. That's just a cemetery. I don't know what I'm looking at. But again, I don't want to explore every little thing and ruin every little thing for you. I look a little convenience store. Laundry mat and a pharmacy. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, this house has a spooky lot challenge. Let's read her description out of curiosity. Oh my God, she has a black cat. <laughs> Madre Luna runs the October Moon Occult Shop. 
Nobody knows much about her, including her real name. She's a spiritual medium and a paranormal investigator. Helping people connect with their loved ones on the other side is her passion. She's good at what she does and has devoted her life to it. She's never married or had children. Her familiar shadow is all she needs. Go visit her shop as long as you don't mind bumping into some ghosts. <laughs> wow, what the fuck? Oasis Springs is actually a super cool one. Let me just read you the best ones in here. We have the Paradise Motel, Pinky's Lounge, which is not just a lounge, <laughs> Biker's Club, <laughs> and the Healing Center Spa. I want to show you guys Pinky's Lounge. We're at Pinky's and right off the bat, it looks freaking sketchy. <laughs> like, why? Is this the right door? Let's see. I guess. Yeah, they walk in through there. Oh, yep. Right past the ATMs makes sense. <laughs> Just a little squished. But yeah, so this is Pinky's Lounge, y'all. <laughs> the mood is right. Let's see what's going on. Somebody get to work. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> he's excited. Hey, Ayo, get a girl. Ayo, she's getting it. What's over here? Little ticket booth in here. And then back here. The dancer studio. This is actually really cute. Oh my God, I, I make my sim work here. <laughs> Look, somewhere for the girls to get ready and do their makeup and shit. A locker room. And then over here we have bathrooms and private rooms where the real magic happens. We just need a, a security guard standing outside of this. <laughs> and we're good. So yeah, that's pinkies, y'all. The last one that I want to do is the Pine Shore Assisted Living Home. I just want to see what it looks like in there. Let's read the description for this assisted living center. The Pine Shore residence, John, nobody knows who he is, including himself. Serena, a flirty artist, and Augustus, the original owner of the Soul Good restaurant. Cool. Something about the nursing home aspect intrigues me. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> they look all look in pain. She looks like a nurse. Oh, so this is Pine Shore. It looks like a nursing home. <laughs> okay, so you walk in a little reception area. Um, then we have like a living room common area for them with some knitting. I love that. Oh, cafeteria. They can eat. The laundry, an office. Oh, here are their rooms. <laughs> oh, they thought they gotta share rooms? That don't seem right. Having to deal with roommates in your 80s and shit. Okay, more rooms on this side. So pretty big space. I love that. What do they got back here? Some gardening moment. Yoga. Gotta get them stretches in. Oh, goats. What the hell? Little goats. <laughs> what? When do we get goats? With horse ranch, I think, right? That is the cutest thing ever. Oh my God. Wow, I, I forgot. I haven't played with that pack even. I'm the worst. Wow, this is so cool. All oh, the wind chimes back here are so peaceful. That is adorable. The birds chirping. Oh my God, I would love to retire here. Yeah, sign me up. Sign me up at the front desk. I think that's gonna be it for this save file review. Make sure to check out the link in my description box. That is the information page for this video where you will find all of Floral Sims links and the mods and videos that we discussed today. Shout out to Floral Sims for making this dope ass save file. If you like this video, please show some love downstairs. I would really appreciate it, especially because you know I'm trying to be back on my shit. So comment below if y'all have played with port sims and some easter eggs or some things that you have discovered about it i'm all for the spoilers because i don't know if i will find every little thing so i appreciate when people be like hey did you know you can find the hidden blah 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 and the blah blah but just put a spoiler alert before that <laughs> also subscribe if you already haven't to become part of the gang because we have a lot of fun on this channel if you can't already tell all right y'all that's gonna be it for me today peace and love